Roundtable Podcast. I'm your boy Corey G at Small Arms Danny at Trey Speed and the graphic gangster himself, Cole Susak. We also have D Myers on the end. Working security down here at the oh, end. Oh, and we are at Hugh White Chevrolet with my homeboy Billy Thagger because it is time for the I Want Apps contest. Yep. And we are announcing the 2023 prize, which is a Cadillac Escalade ESV, that big boy. The suburban big boy. You got five kids to take the soccer practice. Danny, you could do it in this car. Super what? Yeah. Trey, you're going to hit the club up with all the NFT honeys. You could take it. <laughs> That's nice. Cole, if you want to look like the dude from Entourage. That's true. It uh, could happen. Will, absolutely. Me and D, we just riding slow, homie. We were just leaning in this thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like I could take the family on vacation. We could, you drive could. to the beach. 100%. For sure. You could literally have any application on this ride. So, Billy, as one of the owners of the dealership, what's it feel like to be involved in I Want Abs for uh, two years in a row now? <laughs> yeah, it feels great. It does. Yes, yeah. I know it does. <laughs> we love having you guys here. These guys get it. You know, they, they love it. We're so. just hoping we don't scare any people away. They're you coming to buy a car. <laughs> a couple of people are a little nervous. They're like, that. why is there Wu-Tang so playing in? Who are these guys? <laughs> I walked in and Liquid Swords was playing, and at first I didn't make the connection that they would put this on for us. I was like, this is how they fucking do it down in Lancaster. <laughs> I'm fine with this, you know? <laughs> it's so good. Well, Billy, you know, there's only probably, what, less than 10 members at our gym outside of our clients. Billy actually happens to be the only person in the 9 p.m. crew. That's right. That's right. Who loves the speed bag. I had a couple <laughs> people sign up, but they never showed. No, so there are a couple people. They there's no 9 p.m. They They're not come. allowed to sign up. Really. Soft. So not only you're around the gym, we've been homies for a while. You've been on the podcast. Yep. It's like you're involved with the contest two two years in a row. Uh, the process of us trying to find this, because this is way different than what we, we gave away last year. Yeah. But I think it's obviously an upgrade. And when yeah. you threw it to me, you're yeah. like, hey, wh- what, are you, what are you thinking about here? Think about so this. what was your thought about that? It was just like. You know, this Escalade came along, and it is, I mean, it's got every option. Uh, it, it's clean. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just badass. Yeah, so, I mean, 22s. Like, like, yeah, I mean, we were talking about, you know, little cars and stuff like that, and then it was, we just, I, I sent you that, and I was like, you got to see this thing. Yeah. And then you were like, you know what? Because I sent that with you with a bunch of other you did. pictures, and you're like, wait a second. You know, yeah. what's that? So then that's how it. That's how it happened. And this it, was probably one of the easiest yeses of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, D, your immediate reaction when oh, I sent yeah. it to the group chat, yeah, I was like, y'all, what y'all think about this? I was like, I don't even care what the other options are. This is the one right here. Yeah. It seems yeah, like mo- the most people could identify with that this could be something that they could put into their life and it would make it yeah. better. It's pretty sick. Cool. Yeah, I just always said that this is like my ideal vehicle. Like, <laughs> I want a big black SUV that basically looks like a gangster, so then I can get a custom license plate that says the GG on in the back. Let mo- like let motherfuckers know. Yeah, you yeah, can be yeah. a gangster or a government official in this. Yeah, so facts. True. so true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, hundred percent. I feel that. Cool, yeah, Daniel. Uh, I don't know. Just the most versatile like vehicle you could ask for, right? We went the complete opposite way. Yeah. And, I mean, you're obviously going to get confidence with the Benz, but, I mean, when you look at this, I mean, yeah, no, dude. no question. It's unreal. Yeah. It's, it's just, like, a vehicle that's, like, applicable to, like, everybody's life. Yeah. Like, anybody that could receive, that could win this, basically, prize, like, they, it could apply to their life. Like, if they have a family, if they mm-hmm. want to go to the club, yep. whatever. You could, you could whip around everybody. Well, and here's the thing. If you absolutely hate Escalades for some reason and you win this thing, I'm sure you could sell it really easy. <laughs> So well, I might even buy it all. <laughs> These are hard to I find. Would. I mean, good yeah. luck finding the extended Escalade. They're not out there. So that's it. See, that's why we're friends with you, Billy. Like the extended cab version? Is that what the, well, it's, like it's, the, like the it's, like, it's like the Suburban. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can't, right now in this market, it's just been the weirdest you know car market we've ever yeah. seen. And getting something like this, I mean, you just won't, you won't find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you really have something here. I mean, this is uh, it's legit. Billy, that's why we're your friend. Yeah, well. You know, yeah. <laughs> good to know. Yeah. Listen, all right. So why we got Billy? I, I want to add some value business wise real quick too. Okay. It's the roundtable podcast. You started in finance, correct? And then worked I your way up. Sales. You yeah, started in sales. You started in sales. So 18, give us give us yeah. a quick little uh, uh, kind of snippet of like how you walk in and now you're obviously one of the owners of this whole thing, yeah. but it didn't start that way. No, hell, I got turned away by like three dealerships when I was 18 years old. I couldn't get anybody to hire me. I found a guy that was willing to hire me uh, and let me go to, to school to Ohio State. So I started selling cars, mm-hmm. and then that progressed into finance. Um, a lot of people telling me, you know, this isn't for you. You know, you're not going to – this. you can't do it. Um, just a lot of that that was became a pretty big chip on my shoulder. Uh, and then I just started to progress in the business. And then about four years ago, I had the opportunity to partner with two guys named Tim White, and we bought these stores from uh, Milt Taylor. and. Mm-hmm. 
and here we are. So the White family had owned a bunch of dealerships in multiple mm -hmm. places, yeah, right? Yeah, they owned 26 total between the White and, family And the, what I'm trying to showcase is the opportunity that you were in finance for how long? Oh, I probably did finance for 10 years. Okay, so you're, you're a decade into finance. That's obviously one of the heavy roles in the company. Mm -hmm. And that when these guys come in to purchase it, they want somebody on the ground that could be, you know, their eyes and ears and a part and a partner and a real owner. And is that when you that's when they came to you and, and obviously the opportunity? Well, or? I think I'd moved up to like a general sales manager role. So I was in finance and the front and then a general manager role. So I was able to participate in the whole dealership. I got it. And then that kind of progressed to the to the ownership piece. But, yeah, I mean, they want, you know, as operating partner, I'm you know, in charge of the operations, but, I, but the reality is, is I have great people. I yeah. And it's not me doing it. I mean, sure. I've got, you'll meet Matt. Matt's the general manager here. I mean, he runs the show. You'll meet Nate down in Athens. I mean, yeah. I have awesome managers, awesome salespeople service. I mean, we just have a great team. We've got 150 employees now ish. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're all, I mean, they just, they get it done. But in, so what was the block of time? It was about 20 years. Yeah. From start to, yeah, 20, to, walk, 20, to walking in and putting your keys on a desk somewhere. Yeah, that it's you know, it's part, part of yours. Yeah, yeah it took about, took about so 20 So it didn't years. happen overnight? 20 years Wait a second. Grinded. It didn't Wait. happen on Instagram? No. It didn't <laughs> it did, at least not for me. I mean, yeah. I, you know. What's the 12-step program <laughs> to get there? But I, that's what I want to highlight is yeah. that this wasn't – it wasn't like somebody just threw this to you, uh, like, hey, no. just take over this one. No. This is, this is how it works. No, I hit every obstacle you can imagine. I was turned away. Uh, you know, you have to come up with money. I mean, there's all yeah. kinds of things that I've been through. Well, yeah, because when they say, hey, you want to be an owner, it doesn't mean right, they just throw you right, in there. Right, right. You, you have know, to go. Right. You have to get Well, do you cash. have any money? Well, you know, yeah. yeah, I mean, you have to figure it out. So, yeah. That's it's, pretty it's, awesome. It's not, it's not easy. Cool. What was, like, the toughest part of, like, making that jump from, like, the GM into the ownership role? You know, Great fucking question. Thanks. You're a good Thanks. podcaster. Yeah. All right, good. From from, from <laughs> you mean from GM to to ownership? Yeah, like what yeah. was like the toughest part of like tr making that transition? So for me, you know, I wanted to, um, I knew I wanted to have a store, but the only thing that I could do on my own was okay. like a, a, a used car store or something like that, or maybe a small dealership. And then when I met um, Tim White, it was like, well, we we'd like to buy a group of dealerships. You know, we've got nine franchises, and we'd like you to be a part of it. So that was kind of the same, you know, investment, if you will, to be a partner mm -hmm. um, with a bunch of stores. So that was, I mean, just, it was just the right, it was timing um, and just, you know, I, I just positioned my, I was in a good position. Did you ever think it was too big, Billy? Meaning like some people see opportunities and go... Like, did you ever sure. weigh that, or when you, or when they Especially said with that, it did being you like just, multiple yeah, did you yeah, just yeah, say no? That's me. I'm, I'm. I getting mean, it. look, when you go through this process, you have to apply with the manufacturers. You have uh, to give them all your, your financial information, your credit information, yeah. your history. I mean, you have to go through it with, you know, and, and imagine that's with all the brands that we have. Yeah. So I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking, what are they going to want with me? Yeah. I mean, I'm not some, you know, family third generation you know you know I, you're I the first generation yeah <laughs> i am and so so it was like you know so i i yeah of course i i didn't know what what was too big yeah so well I that's kind of good though sometimes <laughs> well hell, I, here we go i mean yeah. you know so i just went for it and, and here we are they're proven killers too i mean these guys have been doing business for a long time oh, yeah, so it's like how you know partnering up with some guys like that is probably awesome i mean they're great <laughs> I, they are they're there when you need them mm. so they're hands off but whatever you need they're there so they're great support they're great partners to have uh they're great people uh and like i say i mean it just comes back to i've just been fortunate i've been with a lot of these guys for you know 10 plus years now and this yeah. in the in our whole group because they came with with me from the when sure. i was the gym for taylor so i've just been lucky that's sick danny uh what's like one one or two pieces of advice that you'd have for someone either coming out of like high school going to college or college transition to like the workforce um, just like entering a career, like maybe they don't exactly know what they want to do or like where would they like, sh where should they start, I guess. So I'll use my son as an example. So my oldest son, Cameron, is a sophomore at Ohio University. Mm -hmm. This past summer, he worked in my parts department. He worked in my parts department for $10 an hour. Perfect. I had a lot of people giving me shit about paying my son $10 an hour. That, that That's is, all I pay my kid to pack you can, sacks. You can, go, <laughs> you can go work at the big boy is what my one of my nephews told me and make $15 an hour. Well, that's yeah. not what we're paying for this role. Yeah. And you got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And parts is the very, you know, to me is the foundation of the dealership. It's where everything begins. And so he is, a you know, stocking parts, driving the vehicle, being around, driving vehicles, being around the business. Um, so you're going to, you got to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And don't, don't just 
go for the money grab right in. And whatever it is that you want to do, mm-hmm. you're going to have to – you're probably going to have to start at the bottom. Yeah. So Entry that, point's key. And that's okay. You know, you're going to have to pay some dues. And I think a lot of people, like you were talking about, it was didn't happen overnight. It, mm-hmm. it doesn't. Um, so it's just figuring out what, you know, what industry you want to be in, and then you got to be willing to put in the work. Mm-hmm. Sick. Trevon. Um, I'm curious, like, where, where, where does this expand from here then? Ah, so that's a great question. Well, I mean, I, I can tell you. I mean, I've I have sat with and we have looked at probably five more deals with dealership groups. Um, there's a couple brands we'd really like to acquire uh, right now because the market is as uh, crazy as it is. The you know how real estate everybody's asking double for their house. Well, they're asking double for car dealerships right now. So we're seeing kind of a market downtrend. So I I, I think things will kind of normalize in the next 12 months and there will be buying opportunities uh, so for me i just want to keep keep growing whatever i can be part of and expand and buy that's what i want to do love it d all right so it's a big operation here yeah so totally in the mic yeah there you go yes yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's a big operation here. It's a big dealership this isn't just like a little mom and pops no. thing here but lancaster is a small town yeah. you guys have one in athens too which is another you know it's a college town but it's a small town mm-hmm. How much more important do you think it is in a community like this versus then if you had this dealership in the middle of Columbus somewhere, just like the your reputation locally and like the relationships with the local people that, you know, probably know you more by name as opposed to just, you know, the car dealership out on, uh, you know, on 270 or something somewhere. It's much more populated. Well, I, I mean, it's it's everything. I mean, I, the reputation, our reputation is everything. I mean, these guys have um, the guys that you see in here have you know, built their careers with, with our customer base, which is, you know, your, your customer, our, our prime customer base is about a 15 mile radius. It's a community. So that's, that's it. I mean, the guy sitting right there collected 2,700 and some odd toys. In fact, we wouldn't have been able to put any of this here had they not come and got the toys and Mm -hmm. contributed, you know, another $3,000 and gift cards this Christmas with all these toys to, you know, local, you know, organizations and, and things like that. So, I mean, I, 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 I do often feel like we don't give back enough, but I'm always encouraging these guys to keep, you know, just mm-hmm. keep the stuff, you know, top of mind and let's give back whenever we can because, I, you know, that we have a great relationship with Lancaster and with the surrounding town. So it, it is very important. I feel like this in a short window was like business 101 on entry point, working up opportunity, taking advantage of the opportunity, making it, doing whatever you got to do. And just these answers that you gave you, these questions, like, I don't know how somebody can't grab a few things from that, Billy. So thanks for sharing all that. Yeah, it's chip on your shoulder, man. I took mine and yeah, that's what I ran with. Enough so people good. love enough people told me there's no way yeah. that you're going to make it. Hell, they told me I wouldn't make it in finance, Yeah, let alone be, become an owner. I mean, come on. Yeah. What are you thinking? So good. Yeah, lift weights get paid. Me That's and right. Dustin have seen a it's few almost, crazy it's almost, looks. <laughs> it's almost out. better when someone tells you that you can't. I, I needed them, I too. I agree. I agree. I think it's better. All right, yeah. I'm going to kick you out and we'll okay. bring in Tim, Great. the GM. Appreciate Matt. you, Billy. Matt. 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 Yeah, yeah, I messed that up. Jeez. That's all right. I'm good. Yeah, I swear there, it was There were some Tims in there. there in the yeah. Room. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Billy. Billy's uh, a baller. Oh, yeah, He's dude. He's a baller. So a lot of people don't know, but like Billy's one of the only people that's outside of our group that I meet with on a regular basis to just talk business with because completely different industries, but we know our wives are friends and it's like, you know, that's how we ended up like just kind of connecting us because I was around him multiple times then we just had so much in common. So yeah, GM Matt, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to the show, brother. So <laughs> if you're not here. aware, that's a small arms Danny. Yep. That's a Trayvon. We call him Trey Speed. So. That's Cole. We call him the graphic gangster. And this is Dustin Myers. So you are on the round table. Now we've got the Cadillac ESV. Tell everyone because uh, Billy said you know way more than him on this stuff. Because <laughs> <laughs> you run you run the dealership. Uh, what kind of options we got on this thing and what they should be looking forward to? They're about to win. Basically everything you can get on one: sunroof, power running boards, 22 inch wheels, DVD, bucket seats, long wheelbase. So obviously behind the third seat you got about three feet of storage. Just Which everything is huge. possible. Navigation, touchscreen radio. It's got it all. Heated. It's literally the top top. Yep, it's at the top. Fully loaded. So, obviously, we're taking it home with us today. But if not, you guys could sell this thing. Oh, in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Billy telling me, he's like, well, I'm about to call down there and tell him I'm taking one of the hottest things off the lot for you guys. As soon as he told the team, everybody was whining. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when Billy jumps in and he becomes sales guy for a sec, right? Yep. 
<laughs> anything else that um, you can tell us about the vehicle um, in general just to get people excited about what they're about you know, to win? You know, just one owner, good home, you know, a local owner around here, and just, you know, blacked out 22-inch wheels, power Taking steps. care of I mean, really just, well. It, it's the one to have. What's the so. first word that comes to mind when you look at this car? Presidential. Ooh. 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 Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's what I say when I see this, Riding too. Presidential. <laughs> That's a great word to describe it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he wow. just kind of mic dropped us, didn't he? He did. I was like, yeah, I'm going to say it for that. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> it's good. Show's over. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what All right, now let's, uh, let's do some fun real quick. Talk about uh, working with Billy uh, in the GM role, also just like – uh, kind of where your last step come from. What did you go from to GM? Uh, general sales manager. Okay. So I was in charge of just the front end, just sales. Mm -hmm. uh, started here 20 years ago in okay. sales. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, kind of stepped up after seven years to just this building's manager. Uh, new car only. I uh, went to GSM about five years ago and now GM just recently. So Nice. You know, working with Billy's great. I mean, he's a family member. You know, everything's yeah. just kind of local homegrown dealership and just coming to work straight. Yeah. A lot of people can't say that. No. And, and just knowing that your ownership's got your back is Yeah. Priceless. It's huge. That's good. Well, man, we appreciate yeah. you being cool. on the show. Thank yeah. you Thank so you. much. It was awesome. Yeah. Glad to be here. Hell yeah. Man, this is so sick. Yeah, it is <laughs> wet. It is wet. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> like heard that is the, in the like, background. Presidential is like the perfect word to describe yeah. that. It is. That's going on that. Hey, speaking of super That's proper, let's let's grab Tyler C. Lover. Tyler yeah. Silver, jump in here, buddy. Come here, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, puppy. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, Tyler. What's so up? as the uh, operations manager for Max Effort, talk about your excitement and, uh, you know, your reaction to seeing a vehicle like this that's about to be given away to our great customers. Can I say anything about the inside of it? You can say anything you want, buddy. It's got wood grain. So you'll whip that thing. Can you imagine yourself wood grain gripping? Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Paul, Paul, yeah, Paul, Paul, Paul Wall, shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, wanna, I need to meet him. Dose hey, is going to let me meet him. Hold on. I got a question for him, Tyler. Nice. All right. As a Fast and Furious fanatic. There we right? go. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> what, what song, what's the first song you're playing in this as you're rolling down the highway? Mm. Or town, whatever. Man, it's, it's probably going to be David Banner. Like <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. I'm going to have to get the cones out and start laying them down because I'm going down the road. Yeah. That's so yeah. As expected. <laughs> <laughs> well, that over-delivered. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Uh, it it feels good to have an offering like this for the customer base, don't you? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, show them the tree a little bit in the background because Merry Christmas to whoever's going to get this. Thing. <laughs> 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 take about 12 weeks after registration, but, man. Yeah, like that's the, the ultimate carrot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're having abs driving that thing down the road. Yeah. Well, and all of us grew up humble beginnings, man. So it's like to think – this is the first thing I thought when I walked in. I walk in and I'm thinking – there's honestly, I didn't think I would even own a car this nice in my maybe in my life. Well, think like my car was so terrible when we were kids. <laughs> giving it away. Yeah, no, we're giving it away. That's my point. So it feels wild to me still. When you think about like you know Mercedes or a Rolls Royce or Bentley or all this stuff, but when we were growing up, That's there was clear. nothing higher than a Cadillac. No, it was like no. the ultimate sign of luxury of wealth. Yeah, it, it, it was the ultimate, and I think it's still kind of ingrained in my mind that way, just like For that sure. Cadillac symbol. Yeah, no, it, I agree with that, especially where we're from. Like that, mm -hmm. you never saw anybody driving them other things. That, no, if they no, had a caddy. It was like, it was like the Cadillac was the top of the food chain for sure. It was yeah, game over. And well, there's a reason for that. I mean, it's there is. Well, know, it's been ex excellence for a long time, for sure. Sustained excellence over decades. Well, and I like it because I think of like Trey said about the application. It could really the application for so so it, it has a wide variety of people that I think they're going to join the contest have their results and then be, be able to attain something like this that they can utilize in their everyday life like that to yeah. me feels really cool absolutely i even feel like visually the grill looks like a representation of abs yeah Look at the block abs right yeah there, you know? i agree with that i feel like we'll this, go with that d we might have to go with an escalate every year i feel like it yeah. just fits the i want abs perfectly. yeah i don't know if we can go back from this no <laughs> i think there is no it's anything else you want to add tyler no uh, i mean this is uh this is a beautiful clean operation that billy's got going on here and uh expect nothing nothing less when you get this thing whoever you are yeah it's congrats gonna be a shout out boy all right let's add the other tyler mr treadway to the show we doing good on time kyle yeah the bearded one <laughs> Tyler Treadway. How much do you bench? All of it. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, Treadway. Uh, talk about um, your excitement of uh, being around offering something like this. Obviously, you've been helping more with social media with myself and Dustin, too, and, like, being involved and seeing this process. Yeah, it's super dope. Um, last year, being around the company and we gave away the Mercedes, that was the first thing. Um, and seeing how that changed Travis's life and yeah. how excited he was. And personally, I think that an Escalade is way cooler than a Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. Um, no offense to Travis or yeah. the prize we gave away yeah. last year. But, uh, yeah, I think whoever gets this is going to be super excited. It's going to change their life. Um, being a soccer coach, I know that uh, a lot of the, there you go. the mommies out there are going to need something to take. <laughs> shout, shout out to all the mommies. mommies. Shout, shout out, out to the, the mommies. mommies. Shout Big out time. to the mommies. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Trey is shouting you out for shout a different reason. <laughs> Shout out to Jesus. <laughs> well, I think this thing is so big. There's absolutely no way whenever whoever wins this, they get in here, they're not going to be able to, like, think about, holy shit, like, all the work I put in. Yes. All the discipline, all that stuff. Because this thing is fucking massive and it's sick. Yeah. You're going to feel like you're riding in a limousine every day. Literally. Honestly. Dude, we might have yeah. to make that an Instagram, like, ad. Right yeah. there, Cole. We should. That would yeah. break that it's out, Kyle. Hey, this is the other thing what I loved about what Travis said, and I just kind of popped on when you brought him up. He said, I can't wait to go home and take my grandpa for a ride. He can't believe that you gave me this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, so you get, like, experiences like that that his – and he even texted me when he got to do that. He's like, we took it for a ride. Obviously, he's in the best shape of his life. It's like, you know, that a lot of people think, like, they can, it can't happen to them. That guy's from Atlanta. The guy who got second place from Ireland or from the UK. It's like, yeah. it can happen to you if you decide that you're going to take your shit to another level. We are giving you the prizes to allow you for that next level of like push and like focus. And me and Dustin have been training clients for so long. We know that you need that. Sure. I can't stress that enough. Like, you know, the shows or the meets, the things that we put up for ourselves uh, or the go ruck. Like we, we do these type of things for ourselves. A lot of people don't have those things set in motion. We're doing that for you, so now you just got to go get it. Well, I think anyone that's even considering joining I Want Abs, if you're on the fence about it, I want you to not just focus on you know, the fact that you're going to get lean and get in good shape and think about you know the Escalade itself. Think about those moments, like the first time you'll pick your kids up from school in yeah. this thing, the first time you'll get to drive it to your parents' house to show it to them, the first time you'll drive it to the gym and park it in your normal parking spot. Like all those little Ooh. moments you'll get to experience that you have earned through your dedication to the craft. I mean, it's – I'm getting yeah. – chill. I just that's got chills. A, well, that, no, but that's real talk. That's the visualization that you need to have. Like you need to – or I, th I remember Travis saying that too. Like he visualized himself driving it, coming to train with us, spending the day. And I asked him, he said it felt like a surreal experience. Like he – He'd already thought about it so He had already times. thought about it sometimes. And – I'm telling you, like, when you're in, on those days where it is difficult to stay on your diet, you don't want to do that extra lunch session. That's what you have to think about. You have to think about walking into the office and me looking at you and say, here's your keys. Go ahead and take it away, homie. Like, you got to be thinking, like, and then leaning like Cole's about to, driving this thing home. That's facts. Like, that's, uh, that's, what, that's what you need to focus on your mind um, because it, it happened. And we did it. So when we announced the car last year, I think people were thinking, like, these guys are really going to give a car away. Well, like we gave a car away, and we're about to give Escalade away. And, like, we already did it once. It's right here. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Where we go from here? Anything uh, else I was just going to piggyback off Please. of Dustin, what he said about, like, earning it, right? So, like, that's what I draw the connection to what something that I took away from you is mm -hmm. earning it every day. Like, yeah. even past the contest, and it just becomes, like, a way of operating. So, like, if you don't stick to it, like – you don't technically earn it, so you can't drive it that day. You yeah, know? yeah. That, that's why I keep thinking. About it. I feel yeah. like it'll keep people committed long term. Exactly. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Well, and I like that too, Danny, because that was the one thing that this is a material item, and obviously, you know, a lot of the smaller interviews I've done with you guys, and we all kind of operate the same way. Like we know that's not the ultimate, ultimate, right? But it will motivate you. Material items have motivated me in the past, but when you get them, it switches from I made it. Till I gotta earn it daily, Jeez. and I and I do really like that a lot because if I want to operate, so here, when you win this, there's a way that you operated to get there. If you want to keep that and still feel that same way, there's a way you need to continue to operate, and that can be a reminder of how did I get this thing? Am I, you know, am I still eating the way? Am I still training hard? Like I think that's I think that's a great For point, sure. Danny. You're you're becoming a really good podcaster right. too. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. One, one thing also is even, even <laughs> if, 
like let's say you do the competition and even if like you know you don't get the first prize or you don't make the top 10 don't make top 25 or whatever if you actually dedicate yourself and do this yeah no matter if you don't place or whatever you're going to come out winning oh either way yeah, there's win, no there's you no way no you're what. losing in, in this contest no. well and on top of that like we'll highlight like on like Horgy Fitness on Max whatever. There's been people that have done it multiple years, and there's been a progression of yeah. them moving down into the yeah. top 25, 10, 5, You know, and then Tra Travis is a perfect example. He'd been doing it off and on for He's three years. He's done it like three, I think at, le at least three times, if not yeah. four. So, nah, it's my favorite time of the year. This once again, it feels like to walk into a showroom, to know that the company uh, and Corey G and all of us have like worked hard to, to pay for something like this, that we're going to be able to give it away to somebody that, you know, is going to earn it at that level. It feels like really gratifying. And so I'm excited to hear your stories. I'm excited to see your transformations. Uh, it takes us really long time to go through all half naked pictures, but Danny, me, Treadway, Treadway <laughs> we got, we got a panel. <laughs> yeah. You know, but just, I'm telling you, like, we appreciate the hard work. We appreciate you telling your friends. Like, we're excited to release the rest of the other prizes. And this is, like, I think going to be probably our most successful year yet. I don't know how it can't be. I'm, I'm really excited. There's there's a lot of people that saw we're for real last year, saw all the, the results that were there, and have to take part in it. If you're on the fence, what would you tell them, D? Well, if you're on the fence, I would tell them, like we got kind of already talked about, there's only one, one Escalade we're giving away. But everyone who does the contest and sees it through to the end is going to come out the other side as a winner. Yep. You know, motivation can be fleeting. Material things are fleeting. They come and go. But I think you can really transform your mind and your lifestyle through the commitment to this contest. And it's going to be a lasting change, whether you actually get the Escalade or someone else takes it from you. Trey, if they're on the fence, get off. <laughs> Easy. Trayvon? Don't be scared. Ha. Danny? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Ooh. Cool. <laughs> like, like, why not now? There's no better time because I know you got people got weddings in the summer. They got a vacation to prep them for. Why not start now? Yeah. Here's the other thing: is your education is going to improve around your diet. Your education is going to improve around your fitness and your workout. And then you have a chance to win prizes like this. To Dustin's point, there's no way you could get worse. You can only get better. I know we're out of time. Roundtable podcast. I'm your boy Corey G. Small Arms Danny at Trey Speed and the Graphic Gangster himself, Cole.